confocal microendoscopy is a really remarkable um, innovation in addition to the endoscopic armamentarium. Essentially, in a confocal examination, um, either a catheter-based microscope or a microscope which has been integrated into the endoscope is passed into the esophagus of the patient. The device has a laser, essentially, at a very uh, low wavelength, which performs um, imaging of the very, very superficial lining of the esophagus. It images to a depth of about 250 microns, so it images the very superficial epithelium of the esophagus. Um, the patients are usually given a fluorescent contrast agent. This can either be a topical contrast agent or an intravenous contrast agent. We often use intravenous fluorescein, the same as what the ophthalmologists use for retinal angiography. After the injection of fluorescein, when we gently uh, position the confocal scope against the lining of the esophagus, what we're able to obtain are two views, a standard endoscopic view of the esophagus, what we call a white light endoscopic view, and simultaneously a microscopic view of the esophagus at an 1100x magnification. This enables us to distinguish at a pathologic level, normal esophageal lining from precancerous Barrett's esophagus, what is known as dysplasia, from cancer, actually. And we can see this at a very, very high level of resolution, and the images are at a subcellular level. So really, really remarkable. We can see dysplasia and cancer um, at a very early stage, and we can use this technology to target our biopsies and also to target areas for endoscopic mucosal resection. Most of the procedures are done with sedation, either IV conscious sedation, what we call twilight, or with what we call MAC anesthesia, uh, which is administered by an anesthesiologist in monitored anesthesia care. The uh, procedure lasts, on average, about six to 10 minutes. Currently, uh, the confocal microendoscope is actually in clinical trials in five centers uh, throughout the world. Um, in New York, Mount Sinai is actually uh, the only center where the scope is in clinical trial. And so if you do live in the greater New York area, you do have the opportunity to undergo a confocal microendoscopic examination. <laughs>